Get your midday news first at 11.30 with 31 Action News. News that won't waste your time. Powerful winds whip up a mess of trouble in Southern California. The wind gusts blew over trees, trucks knocked out power. The fierce winds threw so much debris on some school playground, classes were canceled. The winds expected to continue through tomorrow, possibly ending on Wednesday. Understand they reached up to 75 miles an hour, Lloyd? Yeah, that's right, John. That's hurricane velocity. The old Santa Ana winds, uh, the only difference this time, the temperatures weren't that high. It was only in the low 60s in L.A. Hi, everybody. Good to see you on this Monday night. Before we go any further, hello, series. I want to say hi to John Kordazakis. John, good to have you aboard as a loyal Channel 31 viewer. Appreciate it so much. And uh, what more can I say but Happy New Year and keep watching. Here's our current conditions right now from the Weather Lab. We have 48 degrees downtown, 58% humidity, northwest 12. Four dozen, cousin, that's your number in Stockton. 61% northwest 12, steady barometer, Modesto. Boy, 48 is a popular number tonight. 58% humidity, northwest 14, and a steady barometer. Downtown today, 5-7, the low 40. Visibility was stellar today. The sky, emerald blue, visibility 50, 60 miles. Just see those gorgeous snow-capped peaks looking off to the east. It was a gorgeous day, and thank goodness, finally, we have a little bit of relief, and uh, more about that in a moment, just how long it's going to stay. Windy and snow showers up along the Great Lakes. Uh, boy, I'll tell you, though, the big story is down in Texas. Winter storm warnings in northern Texas over to Arkansas, Texarkana. That's the town that's half Texas and half Arkansas. They have moderate to heavy snow right now. Can you imagine that? Dallas is snowing. Temperatures are down below freezing and Big D. Incredible, very cold Arctic air is sliding in. As a matter of fact, by morning, temperatures across the Dakotas and Minnesota will be 10 to 15 below zero. Freeze warnings in effect for, yes, San Diego and Los Angeles County inland. Even the Fresno area will be down near freezing by tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Rain in the Pacific Northwest, but not that bad. We're in good shape. I'll show you why. First of all, let's take a look at science. Come on, let's get, all right, Doppler right. First of all, here's Dallas. They're just getting creamed with sleet, snow, freezing rain. Oh, what a royal mess. Incredible. But let me show you our satellite picture. Things are really, it's a great picture, by the way. This storm out here, forget about it. It's going north. We have high pressure building in, a little slider coming down from the north, some cloudiness over the Sierra Nevada, but that'll be the full extent of it. As a matter of fact, the winds are also good news because they're going to keep the fog away. The Bay Area, clear as a bell. It looks absolutely beautiful. Sierra Nevada, cold tonight. Ooh, trucky down to the single numbers. Tahoe, 12 degrees by morning. Reno, about 15. In the Central Valley, light frost by tomorrow morning. Tonight, clear and cold. Turn the wind off. 38 downtown, mid-30s in the suburbs. Tomorrow, sunny. A little warmer, a great January day, low 60s. Tomorrow night, clear, kind of cold, but no FOG. That is good news. Here's the five day, son of a gun. All I see is sun, sun and more sun, chilly nighttime temperatures. One day, uh, John, my dad said, Lloyd, son, do you like the sun? And I said, I sure do, dad. Well, that's what we've got. Okay. My dad said, you know, when the sun goes down, the sun goes out, we party. Oh, well, That's you're still doing that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Efforts now underway to move a freighter from the New Orleans Wharf, where it rammed into it three weeks ago. Crews are draining the vessel's ballast tanks. A flotilla of tugboats will then tow the craft to the shipyard for repairs. The New Orleans River Walk is closed, and the Mississippi River has been closed to boat traffic near the site. And Stormwatch 97 and Action News at 7 continue in just a moment. <laughs> 